Senator Bob Corker is doing the rounds on um, the US networks today and he said the following, that President Trump leaving tax overhaul to Congress would be the best way for us to have success. What do you say back to that, Wilbur? Well, the Congress is being asked to draft the details of the programs. What the president put forward is a framework. It's a conceptual framework. It's his objectives. But there are lots and lots of details to be ironed out. And that very appropriately is the work of Congress, because those committees have to do all the little semicolons, all the little commas, all the little clauses, because that, at the end of the day, is what makes or breaks the tax code. The Constitution, of course, ultimately gives it up to Congress to decide these things and propose them for the Senate to sign. In that sense, Senator Corker must be right. On the other hand, have you ever seen major legislation pass the Congress without firm and strong and persuasive leadership from the White House? Don't we need that leadership? Are we getting that in terms of this is what's important, this is what we'll give up on? Well, the affordable, the so-called Affordable Care Act under the Obama administration certainly had relatively little detailed guidance from the White House. It was basically done in the Congress, and that's the biggest piece of legislation from that administration. So what is the next step? What is the timetable, do you think, Wilbur? Well, we're hopeful uh, to have this voted in by the end of this calendar year. And the uh, budget resolutions that have been going through are a precursor to that, because in order to get the tax program through, we will need to avail ourselves of reconciliation. Reconciliation means that you basically only need 51 votes. And given the very partisan nature of Congress right now, anything that needs 60 votes is going to be very, very suspect. So the budget resolution and its provision that there can be a deficit up to a trillion five over the 10-year CBO yeah. measuring period right is a very important start. Well, but just as a final question for you, the race for the Fed chair is heating up, and I've just wondered whether you've spoken to the president about who you think would make the best Fed chair for this country. There, there have been discussions with a lot of us, and uh, I'm not going to comment publicly on it until the president makes his determination, but he's asked for a wide variety of people to give him their opinions and their rationales. Wilbur, it's always tough to pin you down and get an choice. answer, but I, I will put you on the spot. The front runners at the moment seem to be John Taylor and, and Jay Powell. Out of the two of them, would you be satisfied <laughs> with either, and do you have a preference? Well, as I said, I don't think I'm going to be discussing publicly the choices the president might make. It's a very important decision. He's taking it very, very seriously. He's doing very considerable vetting. I'm sure he'll come up with a well-founded decision.